Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Brotato, the arena survival action roguelike itself. We are going to be going on in with the hunter here today, doing the thing. You know the drill. I want a sniper rifle run. It's evaded me like crazy. It is a rare weapon, so obviously it's not going to be super likely to find, but... You know, we're more likely to find it because of the precise weapon. And it works so obviously with the Hunter's Kit of having increased damage because of range. You know, we get 100 range, 1% damage for every 10 range, which is fine. It's not that great, uh, but it's pretty good. And then percentage crit modifications increased by 25%, which is very good with the crossbow. Harvesting modifications reduced down to zero. We just can't get it, which is pretty rough when you're trying to find specific weapons. And then max HP modifications reduced by 33% because screw you, basically. Uh, danger level 5 is obviously what we're going to be playing here today. But yeah, what's the plan? Uh, besides the obvious of find the sniper rifle. I mean, we're going to try and do that by uh, taking lots of luck. We need to find good ways to increase our economy without being able to use harvesting. So that's like trees. That's um, recycling. We're going to be taking lots of luck. Take the crossbow now. Take the crossbow now. So all of that, like obviously, um, uh, hunting trophy is a very, very good find here. We are uh, historically, at the least, I've been pretty confident that we are tagged as a critical weapon or critical item finder. So we should be more likely to find that. So that's helpful to think about. Just anything we can do. Coupons, uh, anything we can do to increase our money. Oh, flow in is going to be big. It can't be harvesting. Mm. Out of that, I'll take the percentage. Yeah. Wave three. Wanted to kind of go for my rolls there. Uh, but here's the thing. We need to get more crossbows because we get more precise. We also get the medieval bonus for extra armor and dodge for free, which is neat. Um, but this weapon, it pierces whenever... It can pierce up to one time. Uh, and it only pierces if it crits. So getting ourselves to 100-ish crit with like lots of attack speed is going to be a pretty big turning point for a run like this. Uh, if I can get myself to like 70 or 80... And then stack a bunch of damage and attack speed. I think, you know, maybe you got a stew going. It's a character that starts off fairly weak, but, you know, gets pretty strong. I'm going to roll on those. I was really hoping. Okay, give me a quick chance. Thank you. Oh, my word. Give me the luck. Give me the luck. Uh, but yeah, Sniper Rifle, very good weapon. Scales off of range to do damage, as does the crossbow. 10% of your range turns into damage. Uh, that's a much bigger deal for this situation as far as, like, uh, increasing your damage based off of your range. It seems like a big deal because of the character's passive. Be like, oh, get the range, get the range for that. But it's a pretty mediocre return. Just a baked-in passive of the character. The real money for that combo is on the crossbow itself. That 10% of your range being flat damage mixed with the percentage damage. Now, it, now it's kind of starting to be a little bit interesting. There's some items that I'd say are still like not good to take. Like the obvious one that always comes up, I think is, I think is still very bad is uh, Gummy Berserker. You know, it's, it gives you 1.5 percentage damage. And people act like it's a, a godsend for this character. It's like 1.5% damage and 5% attack speed and a minus armor is, is what that item is, if I remember correctly. Not really a godsend, so probably won't pick it up. Kinda just wish that item would get completely retooled or... At the very least, that the numbers got uh, increased. If it was a 10% attack speed item, I might take it. Like, I, I would probably take it at that point. Yes, I'll take all of the luck. More crit for now. I have... I think I have to. I mean, I have 40 luck. I guess I would as assume I'm going to start finding rare stuff, but like... A wave six vigilante ring? 
you take that forever. That's like, okay, so six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my god, that is going to be so much damage over the course of the run if we make it to the end. That's really nice. Here's my concern, though. This build doesn't really have issues late game usually. At least under the assumption. I like how I'm just assuming I'm not going to find the sniper rifle just because of my troubled past with trying to get it. Like, I just, ah, it's not going to happen. So when I don't get it, this weapon has a, a tough time late game. That was a very close exit. I don't want to decrease my range damage for that. Yes, please. Uh, I feel like you take. I feel like you take an epic. Um... Uh, an epic speed up. I don't want to reduce my range by forty percent right now. That seems a little bit silly. As much as it doesn't change that much, this is huge. We want as many dangerous bunnies as we can find. That, like, when you are doing a tunnel vision run, it's probably the best item in the entire game because it's, on a normal run, it's one of the better items in the game. On a tunnel vision specific run where I'm looking for, like, a weapon or a stat, pretty much, it's so good. What do we have for Chris, by the way? 78 already. Um, we may be, like, good already. Because as you combine the crossbows, they get higher crit chance. I think they get like 5% higher crit chance every time you combine, so. We might honestly be not capped on crit, but like, I don't think we really need to stress out about it. I think we just need to up our attack speed and our um, actual damage now. Our, so our range, damage percentage, attack, attack speed itself, obviously. Attack speed itself, obviously. Very, very good. How much does it go up? Yeah, like 5%. Gentle alien. Being optimistic here that I'm not going to get overwhelmed. I have 25% crit uh, attack speed. And what I would consider to be enough crit chance to uh, comfortably scale. Like, if I see, like, insanity, I'll probably take it at this point still. But I'm, even though it's a lot of crit, like, I wouldn't take, um, oh, God, what is the item that, but I wouldn't take sunglasses, for example. Like, I wouldn't reduce my armor even for a lot of crit right now because it's soon to be redundant. So I don't want to sacrifice, like, a lot of stats for it. 3% damage for 6 crit feels like a pretty worthy trade-off because crits kind of are damage in a way. Uh, well, I mean, not even kind of. They, they literally, more crit is more damage until you hit 100. I, I can't say no. Definitely take that. Am I just tagged for damage percentage? Is that the thing? Is it, are the tags messed up on this character or something? Like, we're supposed to be getting... We're supposed to be finding sniper rifles, but my game is like, no, no sniper rifles. You get vigilante rings. Take the 45 range there. I guess I'll take piggy bank. Just kind of get rid of it. Uh, bandana. Great item. Great item always on this patch. Great, great, great. I wonder how that would work with um the sniper rifle. Sniper rifle pierces, does damage based off of your range, and then when it hits an enemy, it... Uh, shoots into multiple projectiles. I'd imagine it would pierce and thus create multiple bursts of projectiles. Oh, this is sketchy. Do we, like... I don't know if we have really enough attack speed to justify taking more gentle aliens than this. I, I think we can't take more gentle aliens, which is sad. I mean, maybe we can. Well, we actually, when we get the extra piercing, we probably can. That's like a... It's a really big deal. I wouldn't be mad at that. No. A 
I could set myself up for getting a converter. Or what is whatever it's called. I can't remember. I can never remember. Generator. Yeah. Okay, I'll take an epic crit chance, and then we're going to call it on that. Uh, bandana, banner. I'll take a snail. Dangerous bunny is, again, an always take. I was going to say, like, I might be able to take uh, metal soon. How much attacks we got? 35. 38 on that. 92% chance to crit. I would say, like, for sure, if a legendary crossbow has 100% crit chance and then some at this point, so, like, yeah, no, definitely no sacrificing a stat for crit. Maybe I'll take, like, a, a level up if there's just nothing good. But at this point, I'd say it's... I'd say it's wasted value to do that. I can't believe we have got... We got the double vigilante ring before, like, wave 10. That's so silly. That is unbelievably silly. Wave 10 is about the place where I'm like, all right... It is no longer, like, impressive to find an epic weapon, so maybe I could, like... I'm not going to say I should count on it, but... If we were going to start to see... Uh, uh, sniper rifle in a run where I'm like... It doesn't blow my mind. I'm going to get this. Uh, I would say finding it around this point wouldn't blow my mind. yet. Uh, game! Like, thank you for all the crossbows. This is what happens every single time that I uh, am trying to find a specific really cool weapon. I find a million of uh, the weapon I have until then. This is so dangerous. Did I kill? I did. Okay, good. <gasps> Manual targeting on that guy with this amount of range is so, so good. That was probably... I would say that was probably the best use of manual targeting I maybe ever had. That guy could have easily killed me had I interfaced with him normally. He easily could have killed me. I would, I would die in um, probably two hits, but maybe one from him. Maybe. We're doing really good work. None of it with a sniper rifle. But we have, like, pretty decent economy. Uh, I guess so? Yeah. Take the HP. Take some attack speed. Uh, power generator. I mean, I did say I wanted to set myself up for it, but then I didn't even didn't do that, really. Oh, boy. I see the Ooh. I see the writing on the wall. It's only wave twelve. We got time. We got time. We're getting a lot of uh, a lot of attack speed. Hunting trophy will give us lots of money at this point with the full crits and everything like that. Uh, again, we're tagged for crits, so I wouldn't be shocked if we could find another hunting trophy on a run with this much like economy flowing and the double double dangerous bunnies. Finding another one would not even be like lucky. I would say it's maybe lucky, I guess, but it it's more like it's it would be an expected level of luck that wouldn't be that weird with double double dangerous bunny and this much luck stat. I would say it's probably I could count on finding at least one more. Finding a third might be a bit weird. The question is how fast do we find it? Finding it this way would be pretty lucky game. Game, help me set up for that the sniper rifle I've always wanted, please. Game. Uh, I'm going to save my money just because I'm so desperate. Fine. My god. My god. All right, well, we should be getting um, a good chunk of extra change. It only does 33% now, so 
hunting trophies not as uh, not as exciting as it used to be. Still very good on on a run that has a hundred percent crit chance. Finding it on or uh, buying on wave thirteen is definitely still very cost effective. And it single-handedly makes me think that maybe we do take some uh, some gentle aliens should they show up. Doing some pretty big numbers here. Secret MVP of the day, uh, Bandana. Yes, we have piercing, but what about second piercing? You know? That was not the way to dodge it, but they set up a pretty gnarly trap up top. Good money. Another dangerous bunny. Give me a freaking nuclear launcher, but not... Okay, now you're joking with me, and now I don't know if I care. I'll tell you what, I don't just because I'm so... Fine. I'm tunnel visioning. Impress me. Uh, this is a horde wave, which is scary, but I think it'll be fine. If it's fine, it's going to be great, basically. If if we are okay, this is a really good wave to make lots of money and hopefully re-roll into oblivion. Like, I don't want to pass up crossbows or anything, but I'll tell you what. If we're not spending that money on crossbows, we are much more likely to find... Uh, find the weapon we're looking for, right? Like, it's probably our biggest expense of this run is buying crossbows. All my money is caught up in crossbow stock. Oh my god. Thank you for that dodge. It wouldn't have killed me if I got hit by that, but I did not want to be hit by that. Not a lot of attacks I want to be hit by. At least not, not unless I'm playing the masochist. Or the bull. Really good money. All right. Uh, hit me with it. Fine. I'm actually like, I'm actually like kind of confused. I'm actually kind of confused. All right. Good run, but. Holy moly. Those vigilante rings really scaling quite well, too. 6% damage every single wave. Since wave, what, like, 9, 8, we had both of them. Like, yeah, 112% damage. We do have, it's worth noting, we, we picked up two glass cannons. So, we have sub positive armor, though, which is impressive. Okay. Getting, like, melee range here. This is it. I feel it. I feel it. 700 bucks, two free rerolls. This is it. I feel it. 20 luck. I need to skip it if I... I felt it. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We got the sniper rifle. I repeat, we've got the sniper rifle. It's just called the sniper gun. So we're gonna wait. We're gonna get a little bit of money. And then we are going to sell our... Some of our crossbows. So how much damage does it do? It does 295 and it crits for 3x damage. Hitting an enemy spawns five projectiles doing 97 damage. Oh my god. This thing is... Okay, this thing is wild today. Not to mention with the piercing, it probably shoots out two sets, right? Oh, this is busted. Oh, this is busted. Which makes me feel way more confident that I can pivot. Pivot. 
Like, I don't want to sell all my weapons. That would be so, so dumb. But we can sell a decent chunk of them. Like, the question is, do I... I think I go through wave 17 here. I, and I think, I think we wait in piggy bank. We obviously are going to be able to beat the next wave without any changes to our economy. Like, obviously. Just kind of want money. Take the free roll. Okay. You should die, like, very fast. Yes. Okay. Because uh, we have Piggy Bank, right? We bought Piggy Bank? Okay, good. I was worried for a second that I didn't buy Piggy Bank. Oh, my God. That is... That just does so much damage. All right. And then we... Uh, next one, when we have the free rerolls at the start, we go for it. We go ham. Thanks to Piggy Bank, we go ham. Yeah, there's like basically no enemies on the field ever. Oh my god. That's right. We don't have the ability to take a single hit. Not really. I am very frail. Give me money, please. Sniper rifle's very slow. I'm taking it. Here's why. One, that survivability is nice. 25 luck might actually help me do what I'm trying to do. Attack speed's really big. All right. I hate this. That's very expensive. I don't have any dodge. I hate it. I hate that I rolled past it. I just... I have a plan, and it's exactly one thing. I need to finally complete my goal of doing the sniper rifle thing. And that is how I have to do it. I have to forsake my own hoodie. That the game finally told me. You know what you need to do. You have to give it all up. Everything you hold dear. Everything that'll make your run even better. You have to sacrifice. You have to give up your only son. Your hoodie will be that sacrifice. Best item in the game. It's too expensive. I can't buy another sniper rifle if I do that. But I'll tell you what. Yeah, we got uh, we got five weapons here. Doesn't even really matter. The sniper is pretty darn dumb. Arguably should have maybe taken the other uh, the other bandana. Still could have like that could have been good still. Okay, I have three rolls. What? You what, mate? You what, mate? I'm actually... I'm so confused. I'm so confused. That actually makes no sense to me. That we didn't find another one. That makes no sense to me. I guess I needed to sell the final crossbow. And you know what? I probably can. Look at this damage. It's pretty stupid. It's it, like with the AOE and everything going on, this is pretty darn dumb. Give it all away. 
I can feel the rage from here. Guess what? I don't need those items that you think you need. No, sir. Just live with a sniper rifle and a dream. Just get busted, get the sniper rifle, get out. Four weapons, wave 19. No problem. What, you guys need six weapons? What, you guys need the Retromation hoodie? <laughs> we, we, go, we get along with nothing. Thank you. All right, I mean, that's the best I could do. <laughs> you know, I don't know what to say. At this point, I can't get another one. I'm sure, I'll take a potato thrower. Uh, that's pretty good, four snipers. That's pretty good. It took a lot of effort, man. I cannot die here, but the good news is I won't, I don't think. Yep. Jesus, that was the most unhinged five waves I've ever seen. <laughs> I did it, though. What did it cost? Everything. Was the run going to win anyways if I just kept going for, uh, for crossbows? I plead the fifth, uh, but sniper rifles. I mean, I will say it became, it was pretty clear that when we picked up the sniper rifle, the run did get better. Like that is very clear though. Uh, what's the difference between this one at this point? Oh my, four times crit chance. 543 damage with a four X crit chance scales off of 30% of your range damage. And the, uh, the projectiles spawns eight projectiles dealing 15% of your range. See, this was all worth it just to figure out what the uh, the stats on this, the legendary sniper even was. Absurd stuff. Almost as, uh, as absurd as two vigilante rings before uh, wave 10. Like, that's just so good. <laughs> that's so good. Both of these were like, uh, were free glass cannons and a half. Um, can't be mad. Also worth noting, we had 37 HP and zero armor. If we got hit by the boss, we might have died. <laughs> we might have died. Uh, I would assume we got, we'd be too shottable more than anything, but there, there was a small chance we would be dead. But hey, I, I'm going to say that counts. I'm putting my, my sniper rifle dreams to rest. We made it happen. Those sniper rifles were doing a lot. Uh, I will say that the piercing on them from the bandana was a really big deal. Man, I, I'm i never putting myself in a situation where I have to skip Retromation Sody again. It's sacrilege. It's absolute sacrilege, but I made it happen for the for the big number funny of a different variety. We've, we've seen so many uh, Retromation Sodies recently. Uh, the game heard me when I was talking last week and I was saying that item never shows up anymore. Now I swear I've seen it on every single run I've had. Like, I don't know what's going on with that. But hey, that's that. That's going to do it here for today. The sniper rifle is dead. Long live the sniper rifle. I'm not going to return to focusing on it or even focusing on a legendary weapon like that or a, an epic weapon like that probably uh, for a little bit because it's just uh, it's tough. It, the game's not built in that way. But hey... Thank you for watching. Check out the channel. Rogue likes some more every single day. Oh, man. We're also we're getting to the point now. Uh, I've been holding off on uh, on doing this or thinking about doing this for a little bit because I thought that maybe there was going to be another Brotato update in the near future. But hearing now that there's no like estimated date, which I would imagine means that there's at least a couple weeks out. Are you guys interested in... Uh, me checking out, there is a, a big Brotato mod that is pretty wild that is called Extato Nation, I believe. And um, it is, it seems nuts. It has like lots and lots and lots of different options, uh, lots of different weapons, etc. That, that shake up the game quite a bit. And as far as I'm aware, not in a way where it just makes it so the game is a free win, which is, in fact, like, in fact, I think it might even make it harder in some capacities. So, like, is that something you are interested in seeing at this point for the next couple weeks or whatever until uh, until Blobfish is, is, has the next update out on the beta branch for Rotato? Like, as a temporary thing, is that something you're interested in? Let me know. 
because, uh, yeah, like I said, it's kind of like a break glass in case of emergency thing. I thought that the update, uh, the next update would be out sooner uh, than it seems like it's going to be out. Let me know. Comment down below. Because otherwise, I'm kind of running out of, uh, like, wild ideas and everything. Like, this truly was one of the last ones I really wanted to put to bed. Um, but hey, that's that, though. Let me know. Comment down below. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.